Hello everybody, Aquila Fleetwood here. I'm going to show you something that my great-great-grandmother would have read since she was a Christian, even though she walked the trail of tears, and even though she indeed was a Christian and her family was, they were still ordered out of the uh, North Carolina area uh, to go to Indian Territory. And her, uh, she and her family were put aboard the Thomas Sheepman uh, stuffed in there like a bunch of sardines. But they only made it just uh, north of Little Rock where they ran out of enough water for the steamship to float in because of the drought of that year. So they had to walk 150 miles from just north of Little Rock all the way to Salisaw, Indian Territory, and from there up to Fort Gibson where she met my great-great-grandfather and uh, they got married. But this is what she would have read. This is Matthew 1, Matu. That sounds close, Matu 1-1. One, one. So it starts out, and this is this is a Cherokee letters. He a go we li kano he ha juni klatanasa jisa galoneda dewi uweji gakwahami Uweji. Okay, so that's what she would have basically said as she was reading her Bible. Like I said, they, they were Christians, but they still had to walk the Trail of Tears. And you can see how some of these letters uh, look similar to some of our alphabet. Of course, up here is the Hebrew alphabet, and you can even see some of our letters in this. Like this, you flip it over, and it it's a letter A. And, uh, of course, our letter T became this one. Let's see, what else up here looks... Okay, our letter K became this one. So, mm, let's see, what else? That's about it that looks like ours. Anyway, these brackets is the is uh, invisible words that they don't have in Cherokee, so I put it in brackets, of the, that's still in, two invisible words they don't have, and you can see the bracket words as I went through here uh, saying it uh, to make it transliterate correctly over into English. But this is just exactly what uh, they had, the Cherokee uh, Bible, I believe it was 1828 was when they uh, got their Bible, and a lot of Cherokees uh, became Christians. I like the Cherokee word for earth, which is Elohi, which is a w Cherokee word for earth, which sounds very similar to Elohim, which is God, Yahweh, as in Yahweh, God. So I found that interesting, just learning the difference in uh, the languages. But this is what it looks like. In Cherokee, I can actually read uh, read it online. You can get it online. Of course, you can buy one too if you. Uh, in Oklahoma, they have stores that will sell the whole Bible written to you in Cherokee. But wow, you talk about expensive. It's expensive. You have a great day. God bless.